here. Today we're going to be talking more about the Python Pro's accessories. I'm going to be going in detail on how well the recharging add-on case works for the back of the phone. You can just flip that out. As well as the PDA style keyboard that's much larger than most keyboards you see for phones, but still not quite full size. It's an interesting beast to say the least. Last, I'm going to be going into the camera of this phone. I'll let you see what kind of images it gives, uh, the quality of it, what the usability is, and you'll see where the software is right now. It does work now. It doesn't work great, but it's much more than what we had about a year ago. All right, let's get right into this. So this here is the wireless charging add-on case. At first glance, this looks very similar to the original cover. The induction coil does not come attached to the back, you actually have to set it in yourself right here. And this here is the connection for the pogo pins on the reverse side. Alright, let's see if we can get it snapped in. This seems to take a little bit of pressure and there we go, it's snapping in. So satisfying. All right, now just need to connect this wireless charging fire back onto the Pine phone. Let's get this phone booting. It wasn't fully on. I think I got it now. Just need to make sure all the corners are there so it has a good connection. Huh. Look at that camera. The camera is inset on the charging case, while on the original case it's outset. There's definitely a bit of a thickness difference going on between the two cases. And here come my wireless charging toys. This is my Anker charging pad. I've had it for a couple years now. Hmm, now where's the good stuff? Aha! I can never figure out how to plug in micro USB. Is that, yeah, no, no, yes. Okay, there we go. And last, let's plug this into an Anker USB battery, just for good measure. Feeling good, this is gonna go well. Just need to, let's put this phone on top of the charging case. And there's the battery, you'll be able to tell how well it's charging. Alrighty. Hmm. Maybe if I shift it, yeah, okay, the light's on. Light's definitely on, okay. Should be charging. I think it's working, it's gonna, maybe not. Nothing. That's really weird. Alright, let's do some investigation. So looking at the PinePhone Pro forums, this doesn't look like it's all that unusual. There's a lot of people who are having problems getting this charging case working. Some are even claiming that on the PinePhone Pro, the pins aren't actually making full contact. So the pins might not be making a connection. Well. When in Rome, let's do as the Romans do. Let's see, let's put a little bit of this paper towel behind the contacts. Let's see if that helps it to make a little bit better of a connection. It's worth a shot. Man, this case makes the phone feel hefty. Not in a bad way, but it definitely feels a lot larger. Drum roll, please. <laughs> and we have a charging light. But weird, it doesn't say it's charging. All right, I give up. Let's try moving on to the PDA style keyboard add-on case. 
It's worth noting, the back comes off really easily so that when we want to play with these toys, it's not really all that much work. And wow. Alright, forgot about this hefty boy. Here are the pogo pins. Compared to the previous cases, the keyboard case feels really, really rigid. Durable, but um, doesn't really flex at all. Alright, the battery in the keyboard does not show up on the UI. Not really sure if it's working or not. When the case's hinge is closed, this feels extremely thick, almost phablet territory. You'd want some khakis to carry this in, or you wouldn't really put it in your pocket. And the keyboard doesn't seem to be working for unlocking the screen. Weird. Let's try some typing here. And nothing. That's weird. I've seen this working previously. I'm not really sure why it's not working now. Maybe this button? No. Weird. And there's nothing else to push on the keyboard. Time to do some more research. Okay, so it looks like if you update your OS, you can end up with a kernel that doesn't actually support the keyboard anymore. And if you want to get it back, you have to recompile it. Great. Another very important thing to note is, while your phone is plugged into this case, you should only be using the USB in the keyboard for charging. If you plug in the phone itself for charging, it will, it can, it'll cause some reverse current and actually destroy the battery in the keyboard and it won't work anymore. So just, just don't, don't, just don't. Well, my feelings on the keys. From what I've seen when typing with it, the keys don't feel too bad. You get used to typing with them. They're not quite large enough where you don't accidentally fat thumb keys. But you get, if you hit them at the right angle, they work well. However, the annoying side is that shift is not on both sides of the keyboard. And this keyboard is just wide enough where you can't really hit shift with the other hand. While the existence of this keyboard is really, really cool, it does sometimes feel like a problem in search of a solution, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get the phone out of the keyboard. Unfortunately, unlike the charging case, this is very, very hard to get out. You're not going to be able to use your fingernails. Alright, let's bring some fire to this fight. Your knife or a screwdriver or something like that is your most likely chance to get this phone out. And even then, this is a little bit ridiculous. Once it's in there, it's almost like you're not ever supposed to take it out. This wouldn't be particularly notable if the whole point of this phone wasn't about playing with accessories and experimenting. The people who are going to be playing this phone are probably going to be wanting to re remove it and insert it all the time, so I'm not really sure why it was made that snugly. Whatever, let's get the original cover back on. Time to try the camera app. Where was it again? Ah, oh, there it is. Well, would you look at that? Miracles do happen. Now notice, the image has a strong green tint. That is a known bug. But they do finally have basically working drivers. And there's the front-facing camera. That doesn't look too bad. 
That does not look too bad. Freaking miracle. All right. Let's try the flash, see if these settings do work. Okay, that definitely turned white. There's the shutter settings. And, okay. Let's look at some of the photos I've already taken and the screen's black. Did this crash? Yeah, the photo app crashed my phone. All right, let's start this again. So I wanna make a quick note while this is booting. I actually updated the OS a little bit later on and the camera app stopped working again. In general, for these phones, for Pine Phone, you don't want to be updating the OS unless it's a release because there's just all sorts of things breaking. And this is a year after the phone came out. And now the unlock screen is broken. I've never seen this before. Let's try this again. And nothing. Let's try a forced reboot, I guess. Screw it. This battery is coming out. Let's let it boot and we'll try the login again in a second. And it works. No reason why. Maybe the touch screen was acting weird. Let's reopen the camera app and see if our photos are actually saved. Well, there they are. Just a list of files. No preview. Looks like they're in raw camera file format, the DNG. There is the picture, I guess. And there it is. Okay, yeah, that's a picture of the table. That's definitely the table. Yep, exactly the same, but green. The phone app seems to open all the pictures in a different preview app, which is fine, but it, it opens pretty slow. Alright, there's some of the other pictures. This is weird green glow.
If you're considering getting the Pine Phone, I strongly recommend you, you click the State of the Pine Phone Pro link on the official wiki. It'll tell you the status of a lot of the hardware. Here you'll see that the keyboard add-on sort of works. It's a work in progress, but a lot of the things like battery, etc. aren't working. And you will see that the wireless charger as well. It's yellow, work in progress. It looks like it does charge, but it's so slow that it's not really noticeable. All right, so that's your status update for the Pine Phone. If you're thinking about getting it for Christmas or anytime soon, it's definitely a lot farther along than it was. It's not great. The charging case for the back, it might possibly work, but it's just charging so slowly it's not visible. There's no indicators, so your distance might vary, but at least the charging indicator does come on on any uh, charging pad that you might have. The keyboard is definitely a fairly large disappointment. There's still no indicators if the keyboard battery is even working. You have to be very careful to make sure you're not plugging the charging cable into the phone. And that honestly disables things like being able to use the screen mirroring. Um, the whole point of the convergence part of Fosh is broken because you can't use the internal port and you have to be very careful to not plug into power. I guess you can technically use it for uh, connecting to a monitor, but you need to make sure you're not getting any power from the monitor because it'll ruin your, your keyboard. On top of that, the driver's braking is a huge disappointment. I'd have expected that to be in the main line of uh, the kernel. I'm surprised that it breaks when you do a software update. And on top of that, what you'll find, especially with the, the Plasma side, the Plasma Mobile, when you do updates, it becomes very, very unstable. And this is a year in on uh, Pine Phone uh, software development. Um, you can say some similar things about Fosh, but things do break, but at least it doesn't start crashing all the time for general usage. The camera, I'm glad to see it working. Again, I did a software update and the camera broke. It's still not in great shape anyway, but it's great, it's great to actually be able to see some kind of proof of concept. It still crashes, it's still green, but at least it works so you know you do have a working camera if you can see something. They just need to improve the software. So I hope that gives you an idea if you want to be playing with a Pine Phone. These are the types of issues you're going to be hitting when you're trying to use it a year in. Um, it's fun to play with hacking, but it's not, it's definitely not at all mature yet. So your mileage will vary. You might be able to use it as your daily driver, but there's just a lot of small issues and you want to be very careful about how you update your phone if you want to continue to have a working device. Uh, that's my thoughts for now. Bitter Epic out. Hope you have a great one.